Welcome to Epic Yarn Gems. Today I'm going to show you the technique to start a top down beanie. This can be used when you're doing single crochets, double crochets, half double crochets, and pretty much any other stitch. It is always started with an even number of stitches on your magic circle. I usually start with 10 stitches into the circle. This seems to work best for me, but you can use 8 or 12 or whatever works best for you. So we're going to start our magic circle by wrapping our yarn across our fingers and securing it with our ring finger, taking our hook and grabbing that back strand and pulling it under the front strand, giving it a little twist. By doing this, we're going to be making a circle, and there you see is the circle. And because I'm going to be using double crochets, I'm going to chain two to start. The next thing that we're going to do is here's the circle. We're going to double crochet right into the center of that circle. So you're going to do 10 of these double crochets right into that middle. So by way of reminder, yarn over, go through the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And that is how you do a double crochet. And you're going to continue to do that until you have 10 through the middle of that circle. So I'm going to finish up my 10th stitch into the middle of the circle and then what I like to do after I finish is to count to make sure that I have 10 otherwise you may have to rip the whole thing apart and start over. So it's always good to start with the right number of stitches. So we have 10. Now we are going to go into that first double crochet we did with a slip stitch join and you can see that the hole is still pretty big there but what you're going to do is that tail that you had when you first started you are going to just pull it tight and that's going to make the hole smaller and smaller. Be careful not to pull too tight that you actually uh, tear your yarn. So now we're going to start the pattern to do our first increase and we're going to start with the chain two after our slip stitch and we're going to go into that same stitch that we did the chain and do one double crochet followed by a second double crochet right into that same space that we did the first one and we are going to repeat that pattern all the way around until you have 20 stitches so what you're going to do is go to your next stitch and put two double crochets into that one stitch and as we continue this all the way around, you can see that our little circle is getting wider and it will continue to get wider with each different section that we do and with the increase in each row. So as we finish up here, like I said, I do like to count to make sure that I have the correct number of stitches and in this round there should be 20 stitches. So once I have finished counting that and making sure it's correct, we are going to go on to the next, which we will do a slip join again with a chain two. But this time we're going to start a new pattern for the next row of increases. So uh, here's our slip stitch and then the chain two. We are going to do one double crochet in that same stitch that we did the chain two. Then we are going to do two double crochets in the next stitch. This will give us a total of 30 stitches once we go all the way around our circle. So as you can see, this is a pretty simple process on how to do it. It's just increasing each row. So here we are again. We will be doing that single crochet in the next stitch, followed by two double crochets in the stitch that follows that and you will just repeat that until you get to the end. And once we are at the end we are going to do a slip stitch join with the top of the double crochet in that row and we are going to do a chain two. After that we will do a double crochet into that same stitch that we have the chain in followed by a, another double crochet in the stitch after that and then after that we will do two double crochets in that stitch. So the pattern is going to be double crochet, double crochet, two double crochets in the same stitch. Once you have worked that all the way around you will have a total of 40 stitches in this row. 
So we're going to be finishing up that last row with 40 and we are going to be putting our slip stitch join in the top of the double crochet from the previous row. Do the chain two and then we will be doing a double crochet in the next stitch followed by another double crochet followed by another double crochet followed by two double crochets in the last stitch. Once you get this done you should have 50 stitches in the row. So again just for your information the pattern is double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, two double crochets in that stitch. Like I was telling you once you get going it's pretty easy. It's just keeping track of the pattern for each of the rows. Here we are on our last row. We are going to start this row like we did the other rows with a slip stitch join and a chain two. We are going to put our first double crochet in that stitch that we did the chain two and the pattern for this row is in the first four stitches we are going to do a double crochet and then in the fifth stitch we are going to do two double crochets into that same stitch. When you're done you should have 60 stitches in this row. Now if you're looking to do a larger or smaller hat you will want to either stop in a previous row so that maybe you had 50 stitches or if you need a larger hat you may just want to continue to do these increases until you get to the size that you need. Another way to increase or decrease the diameter size of your hat is to use a larger hook or smaller hook. What I have used to do this is my H hook so if I wanted a larger hook I could go up to my I hook or if I wanted a smaller hat I could go down to my E hook. So it's really just a matter of what you want to do and how you want your beanie to look. Here is our finished product. By using this technique it does create a very straight seam. Also depending on how loosely or tightly you do crochet the diameter of your hat top could be different sizes. How I crochet and with the hook size I use this actually came out to be six inches across. Thanks for joining me. Please hit the like button and leave me some comments if you've enjoyed this video. Also if you'd like to see more subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications. Have a great day.